So let's do as an example. Again, 50 hertz removal. So our sampling rate FS is as usual 1000 hertz. And we would like to remove frequencies from roughly 45 hertz to 55 hertz. Yeah, so that's our stop band here. So that's here omega and that's here h of j omega. So we see so we would like to design digital filter with a bilinear transform and so the only thing what we need to do is is b comma a and just write butter and then the order let's say filter order 4 and so now from 45 hertz divided by 1000 multiplied by 2 comma 55 and then divided by 1000 multiplied by 2 so that's our frequency band and then we need to tell the Butterworth command that we would like to have a stop band and that's all and then with that we can filter filter b comma a y and then we have it removed with that so we just need to now put this in, into action so let's move this here a bit up that we see that so b comma a and then butter 4 comma 45 1000 MATLAB convention comma 55 divided by 1000 multiplied by 2 for the MATLAB convention and then stop so now we've created our Butterworth filter here let's see if this is doing what we what we want yeah, so we see here that we have a nice re rejection here at 0.1. Remember Nyquist frequency, in this case, at a sampling rate of 1000 Hz is 500 Hz. And so then therefore here this fits, so this is then 50 Hz here. And so now we just need to load our ECG here. There should be a file here which is called ECG 50 Hertz. So let's load this and um, extract our our ECG from the second column. Plot Y, let's see if we are getting this here. So that's our ECG at the bottom and there's a bit of 50 Hertz in there. Let's just close this window here. and get rid of the of the subplot just to see the ECG a bit in greater detail here so let's zoom in and we see we have, we have quite a lot of 50 hertz noise in this signal so we have created our Butterworth filter so therefore now we can just do filter b comma a comma y and let's plot now the filtered signal and we see the 50 hertz is gone and we have quite a nice 50 hertz free ECG here it's interestingly there's a bit of ringing here and this is probably created generated by the Butterworth filter response so maybe a Bessel filter would have been better for this purpose here um, but this is the problem when we are using filters which are not completely linear phase okay so so here we see that's a butterworth response then that's a butterworth filter works 
and um, how this filter command works. So for if you if you want to if you want to put this now into a real filter here. So for a real implementation. We would use the command tf to SOS to obtain the second order coefficients. So let's just do that just to be complete here. So we let's just type in So move this plot window here a bit away. So I was covering this a bit. So now for a complete design we would do this and um, obtain our filter coefficients here for our for our butterworth filter for a stop button filter. So we see it's order four, but actually these are these are here in this case for second order, so the order in this case is is actually eight. So these are our. So we need four second order filters to obtain this filtering operation here. So we need a cascade of of four second order filters, and we can put them basically into our C implementation. And with that, with this example, we also have seen now how simple it is using the high level design command by Octave or MATLAB to generate quite complex IRR filters.